Afternoon all, and welcome again to another YouTube video. Some of you might have seen the old 1980s film Back to the Future. Uh, you know, that's a story where Marty McFly goes back in time with Doc in the old DeLorean uh, to sort out some domestic issues. And uh, what if I said to you we could perhaps bring back a telly from the 1950s and see if we can get it to work on uh, you know, modern broadcasting. So what I've got here is a black and white TV from the 1950s, which hopefully we're going to see if we can get it to work. Now this is a uh, 405 line television, which um, I picked up off eBay, and it wasn't uh, wasn't working. It was a non-runner. Uh, I've actually managed to restore, replaced a few uh, bits and pieces on it, and um, so far it seems to be pretty pretty good. Now. Bear in mind that um, four or five line television or black and white television, um, you know, that's no longer broadcast. That's, they stopped broadcasting that, certainly in the UK, probably over 35 years ago. And um, so there's not much out there for it to receive. So we've got to use some clever electronics to see if we can uh, get this thing to receive, you know, modern satellite TV. Anyway, I'll give you a quick tour of the TV and then we will plug it into the uh, satellite box and see what we get. Right, so here's the actual TV, um, and I've actually unplugged it, which is very important with a television like this. So as you can see, um, nice little wooden uh, cabinet. And most of the TVs in this in this era all all used to have, you know, very nice wooden uh, cabinets. They were all, all like a television was almost regarded as um, an item of furniture. Um, this this is actually a a Decker. Uh, DM4, that's the model of it, and it was I think it was quite a pricey unit in the back in the day because it had a built-in um, FM radio or VHF radio um, as well as the TV. Um, so there's the uh, that's the that's the tube. Um, so we'll we'll just have a quick look round the back just to show you I'm not cheating with this. Um, I haven't just lo lobbed a computer monitor into the uh, into this wooden box. So there you go. That's the old-fashioned uh, cathode ray tube um, you can see and then down here we've got um, good old-fashioned valves um, this section here is the high voltage section the EHT um, and then if we look over here got a few more valves and up in the corner there is an isolation transformer which I had to put in um, these 50s sets, uh, the way they were designed is that um, they would um, run straight off the mains via a dropping resistor, so there was no isolation, making the whole thing pretty lethal if you, um, if you, if you accidentally uh, touch the chassis. Um, you're basically uh, almost onto the mains. Um, so, so there you go. So definitely not cheating here. This is a, um, it's, all, it's all tubes, and what we'll do now is I will uh, just put the back back on and we will connect it up. Okay, so I've actually plugged it uh, in and I've connected the various things together. So as you can see, we've got a, um, a test card at the moment. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just show you around the back to show you what, uh, what we've got. So that's the Sky Digibox. Okay, and, and then that goes into a clever bit of electronics down here which is sitting on that CD and that is a standards converter so that's converting the signal from the digibox uh, into a 405 line signal which uh, this um, television can receive so we'll have a look and see if we can switch the digibox on and get some uh, digital television So that's BBC. The bulk of the wet and windy weather across much of the UK. It does look like it's largely clear though. So not a bad uh, picture, I think you agree, considering it's uh, 50 years old. I think through this afternoon, eastern parts of Scotland have seen some quite heavy bursts of rain, perhaps the odd rumble of thunder across England and Wales. Some sunny spells developing for western counties, still a scattering of showers brightening up across Northern Ireland. Some sunny spells here. I think the northwest of Scotland perhaps just missing that rain. 
still gusty winds though as we move through this afternoon, perhaps gusting at around 15 miles per hour. Temperatures around about average or a touch below, high around 23 degrees Celsius. As we go through tonight, then that rain clears its way towards the northeast. There'll be some clear So we're watching the weather forecast, which is the day of this recording, which is Sunday the 29th of July, 2018. And it's uh, pretty good actually when you think this TV probably watched things like the assassination of Kennedy, first man on the moon. Um, probably a bit too, uh, bit too late for the Queen's coronation, but uh, some interesting uh, events in history that this television has probably witnessed. I'm going to see if I can change the channel. I think. See if we can demonstrate that, that my skybox, my sky remote isn't the best in the world. The tele television is more reliable. Let's just see if I can. That's BBC Parliament. There you go, CNN. See and sir, you can ask for a historic fishing town. Portimao lives and breathes at one with the sea. The breathtaking coastline is overlooked by towering cliffs and rocky shores with sandy beaches that stretch out as far as the eye can see. Well, I think that's a pretty good de uh, demonstration. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, look forward to the next video.